Dr. Flux here, and I figured today we would do some red versus blue. I purchased a heavy SR because I figured, you know what? I love Mega, I love giant sniper rifles, so let's give this thing a look. So in today's video, we're gonna kinda compare it to the old school tried and true Centurion. This blaster is actually pretty rare. It was like a Toys R Us exclusive and I actually have a couple of the original darts. But I figured it would act as a good comparison for this new blaster because essentially I hear this thing's pretty massive and I wonder which one's bigger. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video and check it out. So this comes with six darts and a clip or mag, whatever you want to call it. I don't really care at this point. They're showing a bipod, I believe, that folds up and down. I don't know if it's attached to the blaster or if it's like the Centurion where you can remove it. If you can't remove it, I'm going to have to say this is better. So capacity looks about the same. Uh, this does have a scope. I mean, if you're going to go sniper, you need to have a scope. So definitely some cool points in that field. But other than that, I think it's time to pop this out of the box. Hmm, holy mother of God, that's huge. Is this the melee weapon? Jeez, look at this thing, it's a club. I can go play baseball with this. Okay, well, I think this, oh, I think it might be bigger. Jeez, so I was building a 40K bolter and I guess I didn't have to because it already exists right here. Just chop the stock off, I have a bolt pistol. Wow, this is removable, so that's really good. Happy to see that. Got our instruction manual, which who cares? And, ooh, got some tasty bits here. We got our six special edition Fortnite Mega Darts. And we have a priming handle, which looks like it is able to unscrew, which is very nice. So I think that's one up from the old Centurion. Cause these just popped into place and that's it. You can't unscrew them. Kind of unfortunate. The scope's actually pretty cool. This seems to be one of those things where once you connect it, it's connected. So, so I like the option of having that removable. All right, so I ended up modding this off camera. It's actually a pretty easy mod. Basically, all you're trying to do is just remove these edges here so that the uh, barrel can slide off once you put it on. And I think I removed a little bit too much because it, it, it's not a really tight fit. As you can see, it doesn't really lock. If you do it just right, you can get it to kind of still lock a little bit and, and still give kind of a secure fit for the barrel. But it still works. I could actually add a little bit of uh, maybe some tape or something, some E-tape to tighten it up, but no, it still works, so that's cool. Throw that in there and then just screw it back on. So that is easy enough. Oh, what? There was like no prime and it only went back like two inches. Okay, so. Yeah, I do, not high hopes here. Anyways, throw some of these darts. Prime, fire. All right, so let's take this outside. We're gonna get some chronograph readings. I'm actually gonna chronograph both of them. I don't know how old this Centurion is. My Sonic Ice Centurion has uh, lived an unknown life because I did get this from a thrift store. So I have no idea what the performance on that thing is. Could be good, could be not good. Most likely it's not good. It's been sitting around at Goodwill for who knows how long. And a bunch of kids probably played with it. And I don't even know if anyone's like opened it up and tinkered inside. Doesn't look like it, but who knows? Let's go see. It will be good to get some stock chronograph numbers off this bad boy though. So let's head on outside. So the Nerf Mega Centurion Sonic Eyes is really here to offer a baseline for these chronograph numbers. Now I know this thing's a little bit old, but at least this will give us something to compare against. So let's grab some chronograph readings off this. Oh, 
All right, let's grab some chronograph numbers off this bad boy. Oh, there we go. So now we're gonna test the compatibility of these mags. So this is the mag that came with the Heavy SR. We're gonna see if the Centurion can fire out of it with any issue. Seems to work fine. Let's go check the Heavy SR and see all the mags that can go through that and see if there's any issues found there. Let's start with this uh, 10 round mag that comes with, I believe it's called the Moto Strike. That seems to work fine. Let's try a Centurion mag. No issues there. And lastly, let's go ahead and try a Busby, I think it was the Tyrant, Tyrant mag. Big old thing. Works fine. All right, we're gonna check to see how accurate this thing is at 30 feet. And I just filled up a Busby Tyrant mag and we're gonna basically shoot this target down at 30 feet away. And then we'll do the same thing with the Centurion and compare which one's more accurate. And same test for the Centurion. Does this thing not work in the Centurion? I guess I never really tested. Huh. Let's switch out to a different mag. Yeah, that was weird. Let me know in the comment section. Does the Busby Tyrant mag not work in the Centurion? That works. So in conclusion, I think the Fortnite Heavy SR is a pretty cool blaster, all things considered. I, it does have a lot of little things that I'm just not fond of, like, you know, the flimsy bipod up here and the really obnoxious muzzle brake. But these things can kind of be changed and modified. And right out of the box, you know, with this quick little mod where you just kind of shave these tabs down, you can make it so you can just pull all that nonsense off. So when you get down to this, I think this is a pretty solid blaster. I think there's gonna be a lot of interesting things we can do with it. Just basically taking this and cutting it down into like a pistol form. So now you have kind of a brute type of blaster and it accepts mags, which is really cool. The pistol grip is actually pretty comfortable if, if this was gone, because I do find this thing a little annoying. The stock is just too short. It's just too short. I would like to see this done as a pump action mod. You know, maybe just put like a big old barrel up here with a pump action thing. Something off of, you know, something like off of the Ma the Magnus pump, pump mod. Maybe we could do something like that. I think that would be a pretty cool blaster. So in the end, I'm happy this thing exists. I'm happy to get my hands on it. Do I recommend it? I think it's a little spendy for what you're getting. I think it, it costs a little bit much. So if you're going into this with something in your mind that you want to build, like maybe the pump action, type of mod for it or if you want to cut this down and make it look like a bolter because it really looks like a 40k bolter in my opinion if it were chopped i think this would be worth it i think it would paint up really nice and i think it would mod pretty well obviously you can probably throw a better spring in here do some plunger work remove the air restrictor you know maybe throw a little teflon and some grease in there and you'll probably get better performance so in the end i'm happy to have it let me know in the comment section is this something you're looking to get I would say if you're not really on board, this is something that when it ends up in thrift stores, I'd say it's a definite pickup. But it's one of those like maybe, maybe not buy it right off the shelf. If you find a good price on it, highly recommend it though. Well, I'm Dr. Flux. I wanna thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, happy foam flinging.